We are interviewing here uh, Peter Harris. He is a Challenger dealer uh, in California, and he is going to give us uh, some info about the new Challenger sweeper. So welcome, Peter, and thanks for uh, letting us know what Challenger has to offer. And thank you. This is our 2008 Challenger. Um, we uh, have brought it here to the show. Uh, this one is a high dump unit. Uh, we have approximately 38 of these units uh, in the market. Uh, it's built in North America uh, with North American parts. Um, this unit is a four yard hopper capacity. Uh, it has a uh, tier three uh, John Deere auxiliary engine. So of course it's meeting all of the, uh, the new Current requirements, requirements right. the uh, air quality. Uh, also it's a, it's a dual gutter broom machine. Uh, you can see the design in our gutter brooms that uh, were the heaviest in the market. Uh, this is what we like to consider the bulldog of sweepers. It, uh, you're going to get more for your buck as far as uh, the Challenger sweeper. Mm -hmm. um, our lift system um, you know, is, is based in, uh, in theory on um, the uh, hydraulic cylinder lifting the, the body taking all the stress rather mm, yeah. than the, uh, the conventional wisdom of using a scissor hydraulic lift. Uh, these are just there to stabilize. So right, that's a continuous uh, exactly, shaft hydraulic. Exact, exactly, and uh, you know, uh, unless you're you know, uh, familiar with the dump truck, uh, theory, um, you know, one would look at this system and you know with some concern, but it's it's bulletproof. Mm -hmm. This is okay. this is the way they they use dump trucks. All right. They use hydraulics and dump trucks. Um, the elevator system is basically the tried and true mobile system. All right. So we don't have to talk much about that. You know, there's plenty. Well of known in the marketplace. Absolutely. The uh, the main broom system. Uh, we feel the heaviest in the industry as far as the supports, the design, uh, the ability. Uh, you know, it, it's going to be here today. It'll be here tomorrow as far as uh, uh, you know the uh, construction of the, the the business end of the machine. If you all right, uh, we have 200 gallons of water capacity. Also, uh, you know, we have ease accessibility to the uh, elevator system as far as the uh, compartment which opens and allows you to inspect and clean uh, your uh, elevator system. All right. Okay. The hydraulic components, very important. Uh, we have electric over uh, manual. So, you know, the operator, as he wants to maintain, or as he maintains a unit, uh, you know, can, uh, can activate his functions from the, uh, the curb of the machine. The electrical, very simple, uh, very clean, uh, watertight. Uh, you know, we, uh, we have our uh, two diodes and uh, relays. And also one other feature here is we have a gyro switch here, which if the unit is uh, over plus or minus 2%, it does not allow the hopper uh, to go in a race position. Mm -hmm. So this is quite a safety feature. So a good feature. safety. Absolutely. Yep. You see we are double curb room here, as you mentioned. Absolutely. And then also on the side rooms, we have hydraulic down pressure which is controlled in the cab by these left and right potentiometers. So that allows the operator to basically set and forget as far as the sweeping uh, pressure. Oh, yeah, okay, absolutely. And then one other feature that I, I kind of uh, overlooked here was that uh, there's only four points of grease here, and that would be on the upper and lower bearings. Everything else is greaseless. Mm -hmm. um, if you look uh, on the uh, gutter broom assembly, we have pins with bushings. So you can simply, if, if, if there's anywhere, uh, you can undo, pull the pin, insert new bushings. Mm -hmm. And let's face it, there's always wear, it's just when it occurs. Oh, uh, it's a sweeper. That's, that's the business we're it's in. It's a sure. We're guaranteed that we're going to wear. Right. It's, uh, it's, it's how easily you can fix and how that's how much and wear and the easeability of replacing those wear parts. Well, uh, is there anything else we should talk about here? And one thing I know we need to talk about is how do I get hold of Challenger? Challenger is at www.challengermanufacturing.net. 
And phone number? Phone number is 204-697-2227. Sorry, I forget my own phone number. Uh, it's not like you call it very often. Exactly. In California, you can call 714-343-7033 or mittph at aol.com. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you.